Round two of the WEC sees the teams head to Spa-Francorchamps in Belgium. And after Toyota's victory in round one, rivals Porsche will be looking to bounce back. For the German manufacturer's champion driver Neil Janney, the old school track is a favourite. With its 19 corners, including some of the most famous high-speed sections in motorsport, Eau Rouge and Radion, Pouan, Blanchimont and the bus stop chicane, all stretched out over seven kilometres, it's the perfect place to build up to the Le Mans 24 hours in June and an exciting six-hour enduro in its own right. Thinking about Spa, the first thing that comes to mind is, well, all the memories I have from there. I've raced so many different cars there, the various single-seater series, junior series. I just have so much history there. Clearly, uh, Eau Rouge is always a special thing. Everyone will say the same. It's kind of boring, to be honest, to always say the same thing, but it, it is special. Especially with our cars, we boost up that hill and the exit Eau Rouge with over 300 kph. And the whole feeling on the body and everything, you feel that compression, the G-force, and the power of the car. And that is, uh, I wouldn't say a roller coaster feeling, but it is definitely a very special feeling. Spa is always the small pre-test for Le Mans. It's a high-speed track, so everyone goes in their Le Mans configuration there. Toyota with three cars, us with two. It will give us the first small read who will be strong at Le Mans. We saw last year already, Toyota was strong at Spa, and uh, so were we, and in the end it was between us at Le Mans. So I, I would expect the same story this year. Spa, it's a great race for us because we have always a good amount of spectators there. It gives you just a different atmosphere to go racing. And I would say Silverstone Spa, Le Mans and Nürnberg Ring are like races where we get a lot of atmosphere. And I would say maybe Spa and Le Mans, we get the most atmosphere.